So today we are going to check out the Yuffie's home security kit. Oh, hold on. And see if this home security from Yuffie is a good option for your home. Hello guys, Life Hackster here. Today we are going to check and test out Yuffie's home security kit. But before that, I have to give shout out to Wood Mac Creations who made this wooden sign in the background. They're a local business here in our town and we'll link their Instagram page and Facebook page down below so that you can check them out. Thank you Wood Mac Creations. So the Yuffie product that we are going to check today is their wire-free 5P security kit. Thank you Yuffie for sending me this kit to be reviewed. And you can then build this up by purchasing more contact and motion sensors. Now, if you already have their wire-free cameras like the Eufy Cam 2 and 2C that have their home base too, or even if you have their Eufy Cam E and their earlier home base, you can just buy the keypad and the sensors. Now, disclaimer here, this home security kit is not a full-blown home alarm system like the Ring Alarm or Simply Safe. This home security solution from Eufy is for self-monitoring and is dependent on Wi-Fi no backup battery or cellular connection. So with that out of the way, we will do the unboxing, check out its features, set it up, and do some testing, and see if this home security solution from Eufy is a good option for your needs. Let's check out its features. So this is the five-piece kit. As to all Eufy's products, no monthly subscription. This is a self-monitored system. When the alarm goes off, you will get a notification from the app. And it is up to you to check and see if you need to call the police or whatever you need to do to protect your property. Comprehensive home security package and long-lasting battery life with sensors batteries can last up to two years. Private connection, whole home coverage, customized security zones, arm and disarm in an instant. Customized modes, integrates with UFI security ecosystem, adjustable sensor sensitivity, intuitive controls. Let's check out more specific info from their website. Arm and disarm in seconds. Motion sensor detects movement in a 100 degree field of view and up to 30 feet. Power to protect. Six months battery life for the keypad and two years for motion and entry sensors. Time to open up the box. We have some paperwork. We have the user manual for the motion sensor, the quick start guide for the entry sensor, the main user manual for the whole security alarm kit, user manual for the keypad, then we have a window sticker. Next, we have the home base 2. Now, this is included in this kit, so if you already have the home base 2, then just buy the sensors and the keypad. If you're not familiar with the home base 2, we have the status light and UFI branding in the front. We have the speaker on the back. We have the power port, USB port, Ethernet port to connect to your router, but you can also set it to use Wi-Fi instead in the connection settings. Then we have the sync and alarm off button. And we have the reset hole. On the bottom, we also have the small holes for the speaker. Then we have the keypad, which has some weight to it. There is a PIR sensor, which senses motion in low light to light up the keypad when somebody comes near it. And there is a light sensor close to it. Then we have the status light and the buzzer hole. And we have the keypad and we have the away and home buttons. We have the custom and off buttons to disarm the system after you type in your code. Then we have the wall mount which you can screw in or use the double-sided mounting tape. On top, we have the red panic button which you can need to hold for 3 seconds to trigger the alarm. Then we have the sync button and the reset hole. On the back, we have the slots to slide in to the wall mount. On the bottom, we have the micro USB port to charge and the power indicator. The keypad has a built-in rechargeable battery that can last up to 6 months before needing to be recharged. Next, we have a box of accessories. We have 3 CR123A batteries for the sensors. We have the entry sensor screws, keypad and motion sensor screws, and plastic anchors. We have the motion sensor mount, then double-sided mounting tape. On the bottom of the box, we have the sensors. We have the entry sensors which has a corresponding magnetic part. We have the UV branding and the status light and already comes with a double-sided mounting tape, which you can also screw in. This is where you need to align the magnetic piece. And we have the sync button on the bottom. And to open up the entry sensor, just pull the gray part out and you will see where you will place the battery. 
And also on the back cover, you will see the two screw holes if you want to screw in the sensor. Then we have the motion sensor and we have the status light and on the bottom half is the PIR sensor. On the back, we have the attachment point of the mount and the battery compartment, CR123A. All the sensors uses the same battery and Yuffie states that it will last two years. And we have the sync button on the bottom. Time to set this up. I already have my home base too a while back when I set up my 2C cameras. But I'll show the setup here again. So the home base needs to be plugged in your router initially during setup. You can change the connection later on to use Wi-Fi so that you can place your home base anywhere in your house and not to be plugged in on the router. After plugging into the router, plug in the power supply. Download, sign up, and open up the UFI Security app. Click Add Device. Choose Home Base 2. Click Next and make sure you connect your phone to the same Wi-Fi network you want the home base to connect to. Wait until the status light turns blue. Scan the QR code which is at the bottom of the home base. Then press the sync button at the back and your home base will be connected. Now time to add the motion sensor. Scroll down again to add device. Choose motion sensor. Put the battery in. Press the sync button for 2 seconds until the LED light is blinking blue. Name your sensor. And you can test the sensor if you want. You can then add your contact sensors which will be the same process as your motion sensor. So depending on how many sensors you have, you have to add them individually on the app. Just follow the guided setup. As for the keypad, make sure the keypad is plugged in and is charging before setting it up. Press the sync button on top for 2 seconds until the status LED is blinking blue. Wait until the keypad is connected and name it. You then need to create an access code. Click save. Then you can start setting up the keypad if you want. You can also do this or change this later on. Time to check the settings of these devices in the app. On the main app page, you can scroll down to see the home base, keypad, and sensors. Let's check the settings of the home base itself. So we have the connection, which I set mine to Wi-Fi. And you can change it from here instead of being plugged into the router. We have the alarm settings, where you can set the alarm volume on the home base from minimum to max. And you can change the alarm tone. Auto and alarm if you want the alarm to turn off after 30 seconds or keep it off if you want it to be only manually turned off. Turn off alarm with the alarm off button. You can set it so that you can use the alarm off button on the back of the home base without needing an access code. Then we have notification settings where you can set push notifications to your phone when the modes are changed, which in my case, I want to be notified on all of them. As to the sensors, on the entry sensor, just tap on it and you will see the battery level and also the event history of this particular sensor. Click the gear icon on the upper right corner to get to the sensor settings. There is push notification which you can set it in the mode section. Chirp tones where you can choose from 4 tones if you want the home base to sound a tone when the sensor is triggered. And you can change the volume. As to the motion sensor, the same thing, battery level and event history. On the settings, there is motion detection where you can adjust the sensitivity from low, medium, and high. You can test the sensor. Then we have the LED light if you want it on when it detects motion. As to the keypad, you will also see the battery level. Then we have access codes where you can edit or add access codes. Click add access to add a code. Type in a name, create a 4 to 8 digit code, click save. You can change the access time from always or schedule it. We have the custom button on the keypad that if you want to assign a mode. I did make a custom cameras only mode and that is the mode that will assign the custom button to. Back to the main app page, if you click security in the bottom, this is where you will see your home bases and other UFI devices which I'll talk more about this section later on. So for the alarm which is set up on the home base too, you will see the different modes. And you can activate alarm from here, like when clicking the away mode which it will activate the delay which I have set and send me a notification that the mode has been changed to away mode. You can edit the away mode by clicking on the gear icon. And this is where you can set the alarm delay from no delay to 300 seconds. And you choose which device or devices needs the delay time, which I toggle the motion and entry sensors. You can also set leaving delay so that it will give you time to leave the house from 0 to 300 seconds. And also you can choose which sensors needs to have the delay. Now you can also set your battery powered cameras connected to the home base to sound the alarm if it detects motion if you want. Let's do some testing. To install the keypad on the wall, you can use the uh, double sided mounting strips 
or you can screw it in using the screw holes right here and to install the keypad you just slide it in So with UFI's motion sensor, UFI is recommending installing it 6 feet to 8 feet from the floor. And you can use a screw or you can use the uh, double-sided mounting tape to install it. Now UFI recommends 20 degrees of tilt down. But if you have a pet, UFI recommends tilting it up and tilting it down only 10 degrees. To arm the system using the keypad, just type in your access code and choose which mode, away, home, or custom. I'll choose away and you will also get a notification on your phone. I have a 30 second delay set up so that I have time to leave the house. All right. Now the system is armed and when somebody opens the door, there is a 15 second delay and that's just enough time for me to type in my passcode and turn the system to off. You can set any of the sensors you set up to have or not to have a delay and you can configure it to whatever suits you. You will also get all the notifications sent to your phone. You don't have to have a keypad to arm or disarm the system. You can use the app on your phone. And by using this, you don't have to use an access code. And you will get the delay also and also the notification. I'll talk more about the automation section which is a pretty neat feature, particularly in sounding the siren. Because I know some of you will ask if the siren is loud enough, which for me it is pretty loud. But with automation, you can set the home base alarm when it gets triggered to also trigger the sirens of your UV cameras that are also connected to the home base. So what do you think guys? If you want to self-monitor your alarm system, and especially if you already have UV's battery cameras and have either their home base 2 or their home base, this is a good and way affordable option to have a home security system just by adding sensors and the keypad. I like that the sensors in the system itself are configurable and can be customized to your needs. Now my only gripe is not the alarm itself, but Yuffie's lack of integration from their other devices that are not associated with their home base, like their indoor cameras, floodlight cam, wire doorbell which you will see on the security page on my app. Each of these separate devices have their own modes. I wish Yuffie is working on an update to integrate these devices so that it will be on the same integrated ecosystem. I also want the alarm modes to be shown on the main app page, just like how the Ring Alarm integrates with other Ring devices. And on the app, you can easily arm and disarm the system. This is actually what my family and I used 99% of the time, controlling the alarm from the app. Any questions? Comment down below and thanks for watching and I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. And click the bell notification so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. Thank you.